Hi, welcome to the video. This is Venita and today we're going to learn how to launch a referral program using the referral and affiliate marketing app developed by Shopchart. We know that Shopify has a number of apps for launching a referral program, but in this video, we're going to make use of this app that you're seeing right here on the screen, which is developed by Shopchart. All right. It's very simple and easy to use. Let's begin with the installation of this particular app. Okay. To install this app, you may have to go to the Shopify app store. And if you type shop char or referral and affiliate marketing, you'll be able to see this app. Once you find the app, you can just click on add app, which will allow you to add this particular app to the Shopify store that you have selected. Okay. Now you can see this screen. Once you click on add app, you can read all the information here, proceed with the terms and conditions. And once you agree, you can just go click on install app, which will allow you to install the app on your Shopify store. All right. Now, once the installation is done, you'll be able to see something like this, a welcome screen. And then if you scroll down, you'll be able to see something like this, which asks you to choose programs you would like to set up. We know that this particular app, Referral and Affiliate Marketing, developed by Shopjar, has two different programs. One is Referral and Affiliate. So you can choose whichever programs you want to. But for this video, we're going to exclusively talk about the referral program. And hence, I'm going to select the referral. All right. Once you select referral, you can click on next. Well, after you select the necessary program you would like to offer, that is the referral program for this video, you'll be able to see the screen, which is called the referral program setup wizard. All right. So this is where you do the initial setup for the referral program. We see two things on the screen. One is reward for the referring person and reward for the referred person. All right, before we get familiarized with these terms, I'm going to tell you that a referral program is a way to promote your store and increase sales by asking your existing customers to refer their friends to the store. All right. And what we do in a referral program is we reward both the existing customer and the friend who has been invited to the store. All right. So let's get familiar with the terms that we're seeing on the screen. The first one is the referring person. We know who a referring person is. The referring person is also called the existing customer. Okay. Let's say I am the existing customer. And then I am the one who's going to invite my friends to the store and purchase products. So I will be the referring person here. And the referred person who is also called as friend is the one who, who I'm going to share the referral URL with and invite to the store. Okay. Let's say I am the referring person and I'm going to share the URL with my friend and my friend is going to visit the store and make a purchase. So that friend that we're talking about is called the referred person. Okay, nice. So these are some terms we need to become familiar with. Now, for this video, we, let's pick out a specific scenario. All right, which is called give $10 and get $10. So what we're basically going to do is we're going to reward both the referring person and the referred person a $10 reward. All right, which means when a referring person shares the URL with his friend, both the referring person and the referred person are going to receive their $10 rewards, a fixed dollar reward. All right. So for this, let's first choose the reward type for the referring person, which is fixed discount for our scenario, and then set this value to 10 as it is. Similarly, repeat the same steps for the referred person. Since we're going to give $10 for both the referring and the referred person, we're going to click on fixed discount and value to be 10. Okay. So once you've set the values, you can create and go to the dashboard. All right. Yes. So the dashboard looks like this and you'll be able to see the created rule sets here under the programs tab. You can see the reward that we have created for both the referring person and the referred person. All right. This also mentioned here. The referral program works in such a way that when this particular existing customer shares the URL with his friend and the friend uses the same URL to purchase products on our store, both the referring person, that is the existing customer and the referred person, the friend gets $10 rewards. Nice. Now that we have created the reward successfully for both these people, what we're going to do is we're going to allow customers discover the referral program. All right. 
So to allow customers discover the referral program, we have something special. You can just go to the same programs tab and scroll down under which you'll find something called referral landing page. All right. So this is the page that I'm talking about. What is so special about this page is here's where customers can learn about the referral program. All right. So let's just go ahead and customize this one. If you click on customize, you'll be able to see a, a way to customize this referral landing page. All right. So if you click on customize, you're able to see two different views. One is for the guest and one is for the logged in customers. So what does the guest view tell us is here's where the guest who is visiting the store has to enter his name and email address. And for logged in customers, once he's logged in, he'll be able to enter his friend's email address and invite him basically. And then he will also be able to see the referral URL that can be shared with his friends. So these are the two different views that they can see in the referral landing page. All right. Let's go ahead and see what are the options to customize the referral landing page. You can see at the left, there is this option to customize where it says page title, subtitle and description, input fields. All right. Invite button. You can give a different background color and text color for this. And then the referral section, you can edit all the description and the titles based on what you really want. And then the copy button can also be changed terms and conditions, an image URL, and also you can do custom CSS here. I mean, customizations by adding custom CSS. All right, nice. So these are some ways you can customize the referral landing page. Right now, I'm okay with this. So I'm going to put this to live and then click save so that all my customizations or the settings are saved successfully. Now that we have successfully customized the referral landing page and also put this to live so that it's ready to use, what we're going to do is we're going to go back and copy this page URL. Let me tell you why do we have to copy this page URL. The page URL is here. All right. So let's just copy this one. And why do we have to copy this URL is because we're going to publish this page next. All right. To publish this page, we may have to go to the online store that you see here on the left under which you'll find something called navigation. Under navigation, you'll be able to see the list of menu items. So you're going to click on main menu, which will again tell you in detail what are the items that are there in the menu. Now you're going to add a new menu item, which we call the referral landing page. Okay, landing page. And then here is where you're going to copy, sorry, paste the URL that we've copied earlier from the referral landing page. All right. And select this URL, click add and save the settings. So this referral landing page will be added to the list of menu items. Now, if you go to the online store by clicking on this IE button, you'll be able to see that the referral landing page is added successfully. All right. So let, let me show you that on the front end. So if you click on referral landing page, you'll be able to see something like this. Right now I have not logged in and hence you are able to see the guest view only. But once you're logged in, you'll be able to enter your friend's email address and then invite them. Let's quickly review what we have learned so far. We've seen how to install the app first. We've also finished the basic setup in which we picked out a specific scenario where we are going to reward both the referring person and the referred person with a $10 reward. All right. We've also allowed customers to discover the referral program through the referral landing page. We've seen how to customize this page and publish it as well. All right. Now, the next important step is for you to promote this. OK, you can drive your existing customers to this landing page through newsletters or other promotions. That is how they are going to know. All right. And the next important thing that I would like all of you to know is this advocate portal or the advocate dashboard. So what am I talking about is what I'm going to show you next. All right. So the existing customers or the referring person who's also called the advocate will have a dedicated page in which they can view their referral URL, their total number of sales, their rewards, etc. All right. So we're going to create this dedicated page for them where they can log in and view the link and then share it and then see the coupon that they can use, etc. on a single page. So let's go back to the apps dashboard okay and if you go to the settings 
you will be able to see this dashboard that I'm talking about. All right. Please go to the general settings and as you scroll down, you'll be able to see something called advocate dashboard. We know that the advocate is nobody else than the referring person. All right. So this is the URL of that particular advocate dashboard page. Okay. You can also see there's an option to customize this page. So if you click on customize, you'll be able to see an option to customize your referral information. Okay. So this is how the advocate dashboard looks like. There's this referral link, share your referral link, and then total sales, total rewards, transaction history, etc. And the coupon that is used, all of that information will be given on this particular page. Okay. Now let's save all the settings. You can also see there, there are ways to customize this one on the left. After you customize it, you can just save the settings so that it will be reflected properly. Now you can go back to the settings tab and copy this particular URL. Why do we copy this URL? It's because we're going to publish this page. To publish this page, repeat the same steps that we saw earlier for the referral landing page. All right, so go to online store under which you'll find something called navigation. Under navigation, you'll be able to see the main menu. Just click on it, which will show the list of menu items. Now click on add menu item and enter the title here, which is going to be add advocate dashboard please remember that the advocate is nobody else than the referring person and then now we are going to paste the url that we copied earlier from the settings click add and click on save now you will be able to see that advocate dashboard is also added to the list of menu items all right now it's time to view this page advocate dashboard on the storefront how do you view it is by going to the online store click on this i button which will take you to the storefront here you can see the advocate dashboard added to the list of menu items now you're going to click on this advocate dashboard and you'll be able to see something like the following let's wait it's here it asks you to log in via an email otp all right so otp will be forwarded to your email so how I have enabled this is what I'm going to show you next. Let's go back to the apps dashboard and go to the settings tab of the apps dashboard. Under general settings, if you scroll down, you'll be able to see this option called allow guest login via an email OTP. What this does is this is for a hassle free user experience. All that you have to do is just log in by entering your email and an OTP will be sent to your email. All that you have to do is go here and enter your email address, verify the code and log in to view the advocate dashboard. Let's go ahead and do that. So only if you enable this option, this particular feature will be available. All right. Nice. Now the existing customer has to enter their email address or even the guest. They can enter their email address and a verification code will be sent. They will have to wait for the verification code, enter it here and then view their advocate dashboard okay nice let's go ahead and do it now assume that i am the existing customer and i'm trying to log in to view the advocate dashboard so what i have to do is just enter my email address i've already entered it and then verification code is sent to the email i've also entered the verification code here now if i click on verify i'll be able to log in as an existing customer and i'll be able to see my advocate dashboard Nice, isn't it? Here's where I can view the referral link and then reward and commission history, total sales, total rewards, etc. Everything is zero right now because I haven't invited anybody or no sale is made. One thing to keep in mind is that only the approved users will be able to see this advocate dashboard. What I mean to say is only if the user is approved for the referral program, they'll be able to see this advocate dashboard by logging in. All right. And this is how the advocate dashboard looks on the storefront. Nice. Now let's move on to the testing. We have completed everything. Like we have, we have finished the basic setup. We have allowed customers to discover it through the referral landing page. We have also set this advocate dashboard and published it where they can view all of these information. Now let's proceed to the testing. To test this, let's again go back to the referral landing page. Now before I test, I would like to help you understand that I am going to be the existing customer in order for all of us to understand the referral program. All right. So forget me as an admin. I am an existing customer right now who's trying to invite my friend to the store 
using the referral URL. All right. Now, since I've logged in as an existing customer, you are able to see that on the referral landing page, I'm asked to enter my name and email address. So the existing customer will enter his name and then an email here. Let's consider Benny to be the existing customer and the email is something like this. Now, if we submit this one, you'll be able to see that you're able to see the logged in user view. Okay. Now here, Benny has to invite her friends by entering their email address here. Okay. And then you can also see a referral URL is created here instantly, which she can copy and share it with her friends as well. Okay. So let's, let's just enter the friend's email address and see what happens. Now, if the friend's email address is entered here and if a invite button is clicked, then you'll be able to see that an invitation email is sent to this particular friend. Okay. Let me talk about the emails and how to enable them in the later part of the video. But now let's go ahead and see what is next. Now I have entered my friend's email address and then click on invite. I'll be able to see that an invitation email is sent successfully. Let's talk about the emails later as I mentioned already. Now you've also received the link. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what happens to the friend. Okay. So far we have seen what the existing customer has to do. He has to just log in and then enter his friend's email address and invitation email will be sent or he can manually copy this URL and share it with his friends as well. Okay. Now let's see what happens to the friend's side to view or test as a friend. We may have to make use of the private window or an incognito window. Okay. Why do we do that is because if we continue on the same, then we will still be considered as the existing customer or the logged in customer, right? So to see what happens to the friend whom, whom this particular person, the existing customer, Benny is going to invite, we may have to make use of the incognito window. All right. So let's just copy this URL and open this in an incognito window. Now consider that the Benny's friend is visiting the store using the referral link shared by the referring person, which is Benny. All right. So let's see what the friend will do. Now to see what happens on the friend side, we will have to paste the URL that we copied earlier in an incognito window. Click on the link and you'll be able to view the store. Now this is the friend visiting the store for the first time and he can see something like this. This popped up, isn't it? So this pop up is called the reward claim pop up. Okay. So here the friend has to enter her or his email ID and then on clicking claim reward, a coupon will be generated as a reward for them. Okay. So let me talk about how to enable this reward claim pop up and how to customize it in the later part of the video. Let's save that for the later part. Okay. Now let's go ahead and enter the email address of the friend and see how the friend will be able to receive a coupon as a reward. Now the friend is entering the email ID here and then upon clicking claim reward, a coupon will be generated. Okay. Yes, you can see that is also popping up. Here's the reward in the form of a coupon. Okay, so now this coupon will be automatically applied to the friend's cart. Okay, now the friend can go ahead and purchase products on our store and then make use of the reward that he has. Okay, now imagine that the friend is purchasing products. We will go with this checkered red shirt, which is quite attractive. Yeah. So we're going to add this to the cart. Remember, this is the friend doing it. View my cart and then proceed to the checkout. And on the checkout, you'll be able to see that the coupon is automatically applied and a $10 reward is offered to the friend. Now, okay. Now, if the friend completes this order, I mean, places this order, you'll be able to see that the referring person, that is Benny, will also receive her reward that is a $10 reward. All right. So allow some time while we place this order as a friend. Okay. Well, now you can see that the friend has successfully placed the order. We we are going to name the friend Rex. All right. For instance, and you can see that the friend has also received the reward of $10. Now you will be able to see that the referring person who is Benny is also going to receive her reward, which is $10 again. Okay, now before we can see what has happened to the referring person Benny, 
and how she's going to get her reward we will see something interesting okay now if you scroll down this is the thank you page after the friend places the order all right now in the thank you page whether it's for both the referring person or the referred person for existing customers or the friend they'll be able to see this widget okay so this is a bonus widget that the plugin offers and what is the use of this bonus widget is what i'm going to talk about right now okay so this is shown at the thank you page and why is it useful is because every customer who places the order will be able to see this also since this is the friend okay you can convert the friends into existing customers by asking this friend rex to refer our store to his circle of friends okay it's again a promotion for this you can make use of this bonus widget which is the thank you page widget so this is displayed on the thank you page after finishing after after placing the order and what we can do is if you click on this you can instantly receive the referral link which is to be shared with the circle of friends okay so this is a bonus bonus widget that i thought you should really know okay now let's go and see how to enable all this thank you page widget that we spoke about and also when the friend visited the store for the first time he was able to see a reward claim pop up let me take you to the back end and show you where we can enable all of these options for customers to feel better okay for this let's go back to the back end let me first show you that thank you page widget for this let's go to the programs tab under which you'll find something called branding so under branding we've already dealt with referral landing page which was a platform for customers to discover the referral program and this is the reward claim pop up so the pop up that we saw when the friend visited the store for the first time he was able to see a pop up where he entered his email and then received the reward as a coupon right so that pop up is because of this which is called the reward claim pop up you can see this is live and that's why we were able to see that the friend received the pop up so you can just click on customize and you'll be able to see an option to customize this pop up as well we saw something like this right so step 1 is where the friend needs to enter the email id and step 2 is where he receives the reward as a coupon you can see there are options to customize by giving it a different background color title and subtitle coupon color copy button color and also custom css you can also do nice after you do the necessary customizations please click on update and your settings will be saved this is the reward claim pop up now let's scroll down to thank you page widget which is the one that i showed you as soon as somebody places the order this widget okay now how this widget is shown is because we have enabled it in the backend which is thank you page widget okay now if you click on customize you'll be able to customize this pop up as well thank you pop up now if you see this screen this particular bonus widget there is a thank you page widget is actually in line right but if you want this as a pop up you can also do that by clicking on this display type to be pop up you can see two steps here step 1 is where the user has to press on this get your referral link and in step 2 a link will be generated and which can be shared with the friends or that you can also discover options to customize these ones whatever we whatever customizations we do for step 1 will automatically be saved for step 2 but if you want two different customizations for each of these steps then you can also do that as well after you do the necessary customizations please don't forget to update it so that the settings are saved properly and will be reflected okay now what am i missing we have so far seen how to test the referral program we have also seen how to enable the reward claim pop up thank you page widget which is very informative for customers and creates interest in them to make use of the referral program all right now we we have also seen how this particular friend will be able to receive a reward in the form of a coupon all right through this reward claim pop up but if you feel that this particular coupon you know the coupon which is basically the reward you can email the coupon to the friend okay so to do this if you go to the right please stay on the same program tab and if you go to the right next to the branding you'll be able to see something called emails here's where there are different emails 
to be sent for better communication between the admin, the existing customer and the friend. All right. So the first one deals with store administrators, etc. The second one is friends. All right. Remember when we went to the referral landing page, we were able to enter the friends email and click on invite and an invitation email was sent successfully. Right. And how did we get that happen is because we have activated this invitation email. Okay. Also email when a friend claims a reward. So this is the one that I've been talking about. The coupon can also be emailed to the friend. All right. So to send those emails, you may have to activate it here. Let me show you this sample. If you click on edit button, you'll be able to customize that particular email as well. Now this email's current template looks like this. You've got a reward. Hello. You've earned a reward. And then the coupon code is also mentioned. Okay. Nice. So you can customize this as well. And remember to save the settings once you finish the necessary customizations. And then even for advocates or the referring person, we have few other emails. For example, email when advocate earns a reward for successful referral. Okay, now we have seen that the friend has successfully completed placing the order and has enjoyed his reward, right? To notify this to the referring person, Benny, the advocate, we can make use of this email. Okay, let me go ahead and show you what this email tells. If you click on edit button, you'll be able to see the template. It says, hey, you have received a reward. Thank you for referring your friend. You've earned a referral reward as your friend. And then the coupon code that he can use. Also the referral URL and etc. is given here. Nice, isn't it? You, you can save the settings so that the customizations are saved. And then the advocate or the referring person. Now Benny will receive an email telling that Rex, her friend, has successfully made a purchase and has received a coupon. Similarly, the store admins will also be notified of several actions that's been done by the customers. For example, the first one says notify after a referral sale, sent after a successful referral driven sale. So if we have made a sale, then this particular notification comes to the store admins. Okay, so these are some things, some emails that you need to enable so that a better communication is made between several actions that is made by the different customers we have. Superb. Now the next thing we're going to talk about is a place for us to view the sales and uh, the people who are involved in the referral program. So how do we see this is by going to the sales tab. So this is exclusively for the admin. So the admins can view what has happened on the transactional details by going to the sales tab. You'll be able to see the sales that has been made and you can see who's the referring person. Benny is the referring person here, the email ID of hers, and then the amount, and then the friend. You can also see the friend's email address here. All of these information is available on the sales tab. Also, if you go to the reports tab, you'll get a detailed report of what has happened in each transaction. Here you can see all those information and the coupon that is being used. So this is absolutely useful for the admins to keep a track of what is happening with each of their referrals. Nice, isn't it? Yes, we have seen that the advocate or the referring person, Benny, will be able to receive an email if we have activated it on the program tab. She will receive an email telling that she has made a successful referral. All right. But there's also another way for Benny to view what has happened. To, for this, let's go to the storefront and to the advocate dashboard. She'll be able to see an increase here in total sales, total rewards, etc and the coupon that is used and the name of the I mean, email address of the friend she has referred, order value, rewards, etc. and the status of this. Nice, isn't it? This is such a nice and a useful app for us to use the referral program. And I hope this video really helped. Thank you so much for watching.